The wax on, wax off did not work. Here's what works. The right product. I learned how to sing. Work happened in there today. Then I thought I wanted money. So I could buy a nice thing. When I found it was as empty as could be. Okay, and good morning, I'm family friends. Thanks so much for tuning in. We are heading away for a vacation. This is the first vacation we've taken since the wedding. We haven't had our RV out in a couple of seasons. <laughs> she always <laughs> She always knows when we're leaving. Stop. And she's being rude. And <laughs> I don't know. I think I might have to go outside and do this vlog. We're taking Thor with us and separating the two of them. Sky suffers from serious travel anxiety. She can't even go in the van. That's kind of torture to her. I'm gonna put her outside just so I can talk to you guys. She gets anxious like this every time she knows we're going away and I feel bad. I never realized that dogs can actually suffer from anxiety, but you're gonna come with us, aren't you? So we're hoping this will be a good, this will be his maiden voyage as far as coming and, and staying with us in the RV. There's this mean meme that circles around uh, the internet that has this husky's head outside of the RV door because he's chewed his way through. So we're hoping that's not going to be the case. Sky would totally do that. Um, we're hoping that's not the case with this young man. It takes a lot to get ready. And like I said, we haven't had the RV out in a couple of seasons. So this is our, our first traveling day and our travel. We've got a new truck. Frank has got it. Um, has got it hooked up. It is a little smaller than the, the previous one that we had. We had the dually um, and it towed this unit quite well. And our intention was to sell the unit, uh, to sell the RV. So he ended up going and getting a smaller truck. We've, we've uh, kind of changed our minds on that and we're keeping it here for a little while. So at this point, uh, he's rigged it all up and we've, but he's been working very hard on getting the truck ready. And in doing so, he <laughs> left a lot of stuff to the very last minute, because that's the way that man's brain works. Um, we weren't gonna go this year. It just was one of those things, life got busy. And I just thought, you know what? We need to do something for him before the school year, school year starts. We haven't done a whole lot. This summer, it's been um, a busy summer getting things cleaned up and, and ready for um, an adventure that we're gonna start. We'll tell, I'll tell you more about that later. Just kind of this vlog, I was just gonna show you is what it takes to get ready for a, uh, a week away in an RV, and camping is, uh, is a lot of work. So come along and let's have some fun. Would it have been easier just to rent a hotel? <laughs> Opened it right up. We didn't take it before, so you can't really tell, but he opened this all up. The canopy up here was totally blocked in. There was no way that the RV was going to get through there without 
scraping on the top of those trees. So he had to cut them off. He had to cut a couple of branches off of this one too because it was hanging over. But I think that tree will be okay. We're not sure yet, this, this branch here. If we might have to get the ladder out and get that one off. It's the only one that we think might be a problem. Hey, girly. just so pretty so peaceful so what we're doing today we're prepping for our first trip in three years so my unit has been sitting when your unit sits now this is a fairly new unit it's a 2019 and it's a, a 38 foot toy hauler we bought this with the intention because we had another trailer it was our motor home and we bought that new in 2003 we really really enjoyed that we had all four of our kids in that we traveled around florida we, tra we traveled a lot of places with that unit and we really enjoyed it as the kids get older and as you guys can attest as your kids get older they have other needs and other wants traveling with mom and dad really isn't part of it we sold that to a lovely family and this trailer being a toy hauler has a 12 foot garage now with the 12 foot garage it gives us the ability to throw our golf cart and our barbecue it's got sleeping for four in the garage it's a really nice system if anybody has a fifth wheel with the toy hauler option you lose some of the living space because it's not set up with a bunk bed system you know but it's nice because you put all your stuff in and then you take all your stuff out when you get to your location uh one of the things that's happened to my trailer over the last three years is oxidation like good lord i mean i've been polishing this thing for weeks and i can't seem to get rid of it i'm gonna go at it again today we're leaving tomorrow. I traded my truck. Things changed. We weren't we weren't going to do the travel. We were going to just, you know, that's ah, okay. Let's just sell this unit. We'll just move on. But we've decided that we're going to use it. When I traded my truck, I had a one ton dually. I traded that truck and I bought the original truck that I had when I first bought this unit. Ram 2500, three quarter ton, a little easier on fuel. I had to do everything to it. I had to put in my rail system for my hitch. And I'll show you that. There's my hitch. And I had to, I, I put the rails in, um, followed the manufacturer specs, did all the work that I was supposed to do, so it's good. The other thing I had to do is I had to put an air ride system in this truck because the other truck had the Ram airlift, which was an automatic system. This truck didn't have it. We weren't gonna go, we weren't gonna travel, but now we are. So I put an air ride system in it, it's an airlift. It seems to be pretty decent, but I'll give you, you know, after we get a little, uh, a few miles on it, I'll let you know, and we'll do a review on that. The hitch and the airlift was, hmm, I mean, I'm not a mechanic, but it took me probably about six hours to do the hitch and about three hours to do the lift. You know, I'm fairly handy, so didn't come easy. Thank God for YouTube. There's a lot of good guys on there. A lot of people that, you know, try. Because a lot of the manufacturers, when you buy your lifts, they're supposed to be easy to install. When you buy a lift, especially from Airlift, they have really good videos online on how to install it. And the same even with the rails for the hit. It was a CURT system, C-U-R-T, and same thing. They have a really good online tutorial that allows you to follow along and do what they do so that you are not guessing. And they do this if you make some mistake they don't want you sending the material back because it fit it just doesn't look like it fits it's tight this way they do an online tutorial they help you get through it and it working after three years of this thing sitting here to prepare to leave the one thing you have to do for sure is your tires your tire pressure check your tires i had all six jacks down while it was stored i didn't let the weight of the trailer because the trailer is 13 14 000 pounds so i didn't i didn't allow the trailer to sit on the tires i do have a hydraulic leak that i have have to fix in my front left jack not sure why it's leaking there so but now that now this is all off the ground i'll be able to do that but yeah stay tuned i'll get some more stuff done for you here and uh hopefully I have help. a hat on but i want you to know my vanity has left me i am now a broken man <laughs> I have been waxing and waxing and waxing this trailer. I started off this morning. I want you guys to look over here. Can you see the streaks? Look at the streaks up there. That is after four hours of struggling with product. This whole section is done. As far as I was concerned, I was finished. However, somebody that says to you that product is not important and that you can do it with the right wax on, wax off technology. Remember the movie, Karate Kid? <laughs> Remember, dear, 
No question. Yeah, but I... Right. Wax on, right hand. Wax off, left hand. Wax on, wax off. Breathe in through nose, out the mouth. The wax on, wax off did not work. Here's what works. The right product. And here's the right product. This is Meguiar's Marine RV Oxidation Remover. This trailer is heavily oxidized, so I have been struggling. So this is now, I don't even know what to say. I'm out of my mind. I have, I, I, I almost want to have a tear in my eye because I'm so disappointed with what's happened here because I literally have to go over that again because I used the wrong product. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to wipe this off now, okay? This is, so it's not quite dry. However, all I'm trying to do is remove the oxidation from my trailer. I'm trying not to do it and kill myself doing it, but that's not been the case. So now I'm just gonna give this a wipe. I've literally been struggling with this damn trailer. Look at the dirt coming off. That is the oxidation. That is the dirt that has ground itself into my trailer over the last three years. I've literally I put it on with the cloth with my polisher and now I'm like if I go up and wipe that up there with this you have got to be freaking kidding me I'm gonna ball right now it's freaking awesome look at and if you get a little streak it just wipes right off and here's the key to success Never after, give you, up. after you've done wiping all of your product off Take your hand and wipe across your trailer. And if you can go like this, look at, not a streak. I come over here and do that. And look. Oh, man. Right? Like, come on, people. Who told you to use the other stuff? Nobody did. I was just a freaking magoo. Take I it. can't drive down the road with it looking like that. No, you can't. You're going to get criticized from other Guys. The other guys with trailers are going to look at it going, hey, look at that dumb thing. Oxidation remover. And then they use the buff. And this is chemical guy stuff. This is supposed to be the do-all, end-all of scratch and oxidation remover. And it actually says right on the bottle that I have here, this bottle. This is the bottle that I've been using, people. Don't. I want you to know. No, you got to know. It's chemical guys scratch swirl remover. But when you read the directions, it's actually for oxidation as well. You the out. Stuff that I have been using. That's what it did. This is Meguiar's. That stuff there is $30 a bottle. This, $12.99. <laughs> well, chemical guys, I don't know what to tell you. Whose fault is this really though? Well, it says right on their product. I know, but you said before you shouldn't have let it get this bad. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I put a I put a healthy amount on here, and you do it until it comes to a almost dry situation. And if you put too much on, just keep moving down. So once it comes to an almost dry situation, you let it haze up. I'm standing here looking at what I've done here in 10 minutes, and I'm looking at what I've done over there in four hours, and I'm thinking to myself, I don't even know what to say. I have to do it all again with this. Do you need more of this stuff? No. So I got a really nice polisher from my son, uh, Lucas, and that polisher is um, four, but this one is an oscillating. So it actually, instead of it just going like this, it actually goes like this. And it goes, re it goes back and forth, up and down, and spins. So I'll show you on slow motion. So you can see how much action is on it. And when you push too hard, it actually stops spinning. So it actually won't spin anymore. So what's nice about it is it's actually for polishing vehicles. I haven't polished my, my bike with it yet, but it's a really nice gift. And this is the first time I've actually 
used it. If I did this with the other stuff on there, Amber, I wouldn't have even got it on. Look how much oxidation is actually on the trailer. To, to get it off as quick as I am, I'm only making three passes on it. I mean, I could do this because I'm out of time and I really want to just get this you know, somewhat complete so that when we travel tomorrow, people aren't laughing at me as I'm riding down the road. I'm absolutely floored. McGuire's, you have saved my ass. Okay, but let's hope it doesn't stay like that. A lot of dirt on it, eh? That's a lot of dirt. It looks cleaner, but it's still cloudy. Mm -hmm. Let's try this. This is a mother's spray wax. A small area there. Yep, that came up nicer. It's not as cloudy. I tightened up my, I took off my hoses and retightened them all. Tightened up the jack. Have you checked the tire pressure? Yeah, I did the tires put them up to 100 pounds, which is good. That's where they should be. I want to see these glorious sunflowers. You guys, I have decided my garden. I just got a fungal disease in all of my tomatoes, which was seemed to be the only thing that was growing in this garden. I was so excited because I've seen lots of green fruit on it, and now they're just devastatingly terrible. So the chives are doing great, which I did not plant. Those were here from before. I tried to kill those. I've mowed them over with the lawnmower. They just want to come back. Lots of pollinators on it now. I'm still feeding the pollinators. There is some work happening there today. But let me show you what I'm dealing with. Crispy leaves and unripe fruit. They're all just going to nastiness. So I did look into what this is and it looks like it's called blight. Um, I have a lot of blossom end rot. Like It's not even end rot, it's the entire plant. Look at that. <sighs> so sad. Even the ones that did end up ripening. They just split. Swiss Charge, he's going gangbusters for the caterpillars. They like it, look at that. Look at this big hole. He had a big feast on that. So I'm not sure what I did wrong. If there's something in the soil, so all my romas, none of them will be harvestable. My basil looks like it's doing okay little bit. I always love the fall garden actually better than the summer garden anyway so oh gosh that smells so good. My dill's doing good. Look at that. It would have been great if my cucumbers did. <laughs> I could have made some dill pickles but I'll just put that in the dehydrator and use it for other stuff. Mm. Sometimes you just have to cut your losses. This season has been that. Still finding beauty in it. Look at this. Not pretty. Some zinnias. Got some nasturtiums here. Oh yes, you've got a little pest there. Go on, you get off of my flowers. 
Well, I surrender. I think you can have them. This house is now a litany of things I thought I'd never be. Man who has opinions on an ottoman, among other things. I used to think I missed the road. The crushing fame that sold out shows. And I just sing head, shoulders, knees, and toes like I'd forgotten them. But I'm alive. Baby, I'm thriving. The grass is really wet. So you've kind of sinking down quite a bit. Yeah, that's okay. I just need to. Your, tail, your license plate is hitting the grass. It's tearing it up. That's okay. Okay, your license plate, yeah. Okay, can you swing it? You're gonna hit the, the branches of the tree in a, oh. I'm going forward now. Okay, to make yourself a nice turnaround bay somehow. <laughs> I know. You're obviously clear of the, I'll tell you when the tether pole st is here, but are you gonna come back as far as, far as the tether pole, do you think? Probably, yeah. Am I in line with the tether pole? You're, you're literally in line of the center of the ten tether pole. I'll tell you when you're at it. Am I going to miss it? Yeah, you're good. You're going to miss it. Okay, I'm going to try and make my turn here and see how I look. Let's watch the trees on the left. You're sinking down good in the grass there. Yep. I need to stay tight to the You're on the tree, sorry. I wasn't there. Just baby branches though, Frank. You're not into good into big there, trees. No, there's no such thing as a baby branch on a pine tree. Oh. Just give me a, just give me a sec. Can you see them now? Okay. Yeah, you're clear of it now. Do you need me to look at your right side on the cedars? Okay, I just watch these pines now. You're clear of the pines. Good. You're totally on the driveway now. I need to pack up into the into the driveway now. So is that your goal is backing into the driveway just to get it in line with the out? As long as I can. I just don't know if I can miss the tree. Just watch the tree as I'm backing up. Just tell me if I get into the tree. You're good. You're turning really hard. Is that okay? Did you hear that click? Probably in the pond, just wandering around. Literally, we were, we were looking around for like 20 minutes, 15 minutes, bro. And yeah, he was just ready to go. We we're all in the truck, ready to go, except for him. And he was. And the air tag was such a big help. If you don't get an air tag, if you have a dog, because the air tag needs an internet connection to work. So if you, so you need to install a chip onto it that has Wi-Fi or you need to have an internet connection to it. So it just doesn't work unless you have all of your neighbor's Wi-Fi. If you're in a town and you have all so of your neighbor's Wi-Fi. So once he gets out of our, our boundary for the Wi-Fi, it comes off him. The air tag comes off him. Because oh, I looked at the Find My app and it said he was in the house 20 minutes before that. This rig is so big. I wanted to get a smaller one now that it's just the three of us doing majority of our camping. But we've always, as a family, done camping as an affordable way to be together. But when we were younger and the boys were younger and we traveled, we usually always traveled as a family of six um, and or seven and eight if they brought a friend and there were girlfriends. So it was an affordable way for us to, to be able to vacation with everybody and we just loved it. It was um, the most affordable way. But now that the family's gotten a little smaller and they kind of do their own thing and all inclusives are thing, something they think like to do, camping is, is something they do as well, but um, they don't stay in our rig because now they're husbands and parents and things like that. So they have their own accommodations usually. So this big, this rig is a little bit big for just Frank and I and Eli and the pups. So we might get something a little bit smaller. 
because this thing, he got what he needed. <laughs> he got what he needed. This thing is really large and obnoxious and frightens me a little bit, but it doesn't bother him. He's good. As earlier this week, we had to trim all these trees in order to even just get by them, so. You're not even close to them, look. Even that tail spin is their tail. Oh, you're up on the grass though, hey? You know that. Just give me a sec. That's why I'm always, the only way to make that kind of water. Oh, I see, yeah. You're clear when you cut away just enough. So the truck tells me that I'm not level front to back. I'm not worried about side to side because I'm sitting on a driveway, but I'm sitting two degrees down on my back end, which means that I need to go up. So I'm just gonna set this. Okay, so I'm gonna go for a drive and then I'm gonna see if it makes a difference. You certainly can't be too high because if you're too high, you get your seatbelt on. So I'm gonna turn left here. to 30 pounds. Okay. Leave it there for a bit and see. It pulls really good. Like really good. I'm at my normal uh, seven miles of the gallon. <laughs> I was like, oh, this thing's gonna be way better on fuel with the, with the big rig on it. And it's like, no. Then I thought I wanted money. I could buy a nice thing. Anyways guys, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. And stay safe, keep living. Bye. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. That's the end of the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Anyways, stay safe. Until next time, stay safe, keep living. There are other places. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Anyways, guys, don't forget to. Oh my god. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. <laughs> Until next time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got there enough time to realize that you are all I found where I Anyways guys, thanks for watching. That's the end of the video. And cut. There are other places. Stop! Anyways guys, thanks for watching. That's the end of the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And stay safe until next time. Oh my god. Scenery won't change it. I waste so much time thinking. Anyways guys, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Until next time. Stay safe. Keep living.